Yo everyone, it's me Zarko. Hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a good day as usual. Uh, thank you for clicking on this video. It really, really means a lot. So I just want to thank you for that first and you're literally amazing. Uh, so without wasting anyone's time, we'll go straight in. So we've just had the weekly reset happen literally last night. And uh, with the weekly reset, we literally have a bunch of new ways to get Chrono Crystals. And in today's video, we can get 4,500 Chrono Crystals by just going through my little checklist that I have made before this video, which is right here. So with these format of these videos, I literally just go through my checklist. I go literally from the top to the bottom and then I'll explain each way how you can get it like inside the game. And then I'll work my way down and then until we meet the toe at the bottom. So pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. So we'll go straight in and not waste anyone's time. So at the top, we've got the daily login. Obviously, everyone has a daily login. You get 10 a day and there's seven days in a week. 10 times seven, easy. 70 Chrono Crystals right there. After that, you have the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just log in for those three days. You get 100. That's 170 already. Uh, after that, guys, we've got the mission plan. So again, I'll explain it just because we might have a lot of new people uh, watching. So everyone knows about the mission plan. Um, you go into here. I recommend the Battle Lovers plan. Everyone should also be already be picking this. So I'm just going to explain it um, just in case for people. So with this, uh, I'll be going through the free to play side because not everyone has money and can afford the premium side. So by just having the free to play side, you can be getting um, 500 Chrono Crystals. And then obviously you can get more with the premium plan. But again, that's 500 Chrono Crystals right there for the people. Easy. After that, uh, we got the weekly stamps so for the weekly stamps because i made the, uh, another video last week uh i'll be halving the total i do this all the time anyway but uh in the actual um weekly stamp you get a thousand in total but uh but that's over two weeks and because i'm going to be releasing this per week that's 500 chrono crystals you can claim because i'm going to half it so that's another 500 chrono crystals right there for you after that guys we have got the champion bonus event so i actually haven't done it yet because i wanted to show it in this video off so we got this uh obviously it lasts for 19 days which is fine and it just released uh if you complete all the stages every day you can get up to a thousand chrono crystals easy 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 after that guys we have the co-op master roshi event in total you can get 600 chrono crystals uh 300 of it is from the exchange 60 of it is from literally the challenges, like the first time challenges and the clearances. And after that, you got the missions. So, uh, let me just see. Co-op. I haven't done any again. Um, I will be doing it after this video, obviously. So, here are the first time awards. So, you got four of these, which are 60. Exchange shop. So, once you get the medals, you can claim it. I've already claimed 200. Uh, I, there's another 100 I can claim. But again, that's 300 right there you can claim. And then the other remaining Chrono Crystals you can get, you go to events. And then the co-op, you can get 200 there. In total, you can get 600 Chrono Crystals. Okay, next, we have the free-to-play Demon King Piccolo event. That also is a new event, and it only came out yesterday. And in total, you can get up to 90 Chrono Crystals. It isn't a lot, but it's 90. We'll take it. Again, you can get the 90 from just playing the event and just doing all the challenges that um, it requires in like the little requirements. I just had a little look. I haven't finished it fully. But again, if you complete all these challenges, uh, in total, you can get 90 Chrono Crystals. So that's 90 there. Next, so we got two new equipments and by doing the stages, you get 10 Chrono Crystals. Um, I know it isn't a lot, but I'm just gonna add it anyway because it's it adds up to the total and also it's a new event. So obviously I'm going to put it in. So the first one is called a DB Rewards. First time reward is 10 Chrono Crystals. Plus you get the uh, equipment. And actually the equipment is actually pretty good. So I do recommend you farm these. Because we might be getting the uh, new units. I think next week. Or the end of this week. But that's kind of getting sidetracked. So the next one, uh, Goku Youth. So it's for the Zenkai unit Platinum um, equipment. First time reward, 10 there again. So in total, you can pick up 20 Chrono Crystals from those two events. Next, guys, we have the adventure missions that have been resetted again. Again, I do this every single uh, video because it gets reset every single time I release one. Again, you literally just go to um, here we go. Where is it? Adventure, and then it'll literally be if I can find it. Fifty. You get ninety thousand of those teapots, 
and then you get 50 chrono crystals next okay okay uh db saga missions so this is a new uh mission type obviously and it's just for like the ca ongoing campaign that we have right now of the db saga but if you complete all the missions you get 100 chrono crystals which ends in a week so i do recommend you kind of hurry up and do this but i think everyone will, ju will just do this naturally by just playing the game so yes i recommend you do this get it out the way um get your 100 chrono crystals before it ends it'll probably be another 100 next week but i'll we'll see in the next video but it doesn't matter i'm just like guessing next we got the pvp preseason missions so uh the pvp season has finally ended and we're still having the horrendous pvp season we have already from last week to this week nothing's changed which is fun but again if you do all these challenges you literally get 300 by just playing pvp next guys we have the lbr uh i think if you go to news um it's actually announced it's not actually out yet as you're watching this video because it's still the midweek but it will be out um in the weekend but yeah here it goes we got lbr and it's literally super saiyan tag and lineage of evil so get your teams uh crafted get them you know get them planned get them uh crafted i'll probably make a video like probably showing teams possible teams you can have but it's pretty self-explanatory pretty easy but again, you can get yourself 300 Chrono Crystals there by just exchanging the medals of LBR. Next, all right, we're actually near the end of the video already. We got PvP. So we come to PvP here. Obviously, the season's refreshed. That means the ranking rewards have also been resetted. So if you come top 10,000, I'm going to estimate that everyone's going to get top 10,000 because it's not that hard. You get 800 Chrono Crystals right there, plus the group ranking. So where you come? I'm going to say low ball, you'll probably get 4th to 10th place because it isn't too hard. Uh, that's 1,000 Chrono Crystals, but obviously you could be getting more. You could be getting 1,000, you know, 100, 200 plus. So low ball, you get 1,000 Chrono Crystals right there. Next, I'm, I believe this is actually the last one. I explain this every single video, but uh, if you come down here, let's fight. Make sure you do this every single day. I beg you do this every single day. It is so important. Plus, plus, plus. The team that you're using, make sure it's the friendship team. So make sure everyone's got the equipment. Again, I explain this in every single video. I just, I stress it's so important because you the extra bonuses you get. Ignore Demon King Piccolo. He should have the free, but I was doing some missions earlier. But make sure every one of these units in this party uh, that you've called friendship has got the friendship equipment because they will all stack to that one unit that you're boosting and uh obviously the faster you boost up levels the faster you can get chrono crystals but in total you can get roughly to 500 uh, 550 to 220 high ball so we'll just low ball it and say we'll just say 200 which i've added in the total but if we go into the browser here we'll scroll down if you add everything up you can get 4530 chrono crystals and uh that is it for the video um totals there you can add it yourself i'm not clickbaiting nothing's clickbaited uh i'm just showing what you can get how you can get it pretty short under 10 minutes easy that should be it for the video i had to cut it because i had a phone call literally at the end but if you like the video please give me a like uh if you haven't already please give me a subscribe we're literally nearly 200 subscribers so that'll be sick if we can hit 200 by the end of the week i'll literally be over the moon um but yeah guys uh hope i could help you hopefully you can go get your uh chrono crystals and you know build your chrono crystals up i'm at 11k almost i will probably be summoning on the db saga um just so i can get some videos out but i recommend everyone save their chrono crystals for the legends fest coming up in about one to two months uh but if you really really enjoy the db saga cards that come out eventually this week uh go summon on it man go have some fun on this game go have some fun everyone takes this way too seriously but yeah guys Hopefully I could help you get your Chrono Crystals for the free to play players. If you're paid, get your extra, extra uh, Chrono Crystals that you can get on top of the paid ones that, you, that you're getting on the mission plans and stuff. But that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. I will see everyone later. See you later. Bye bye.